Hey everybody. Hey, thanks for watching. In this video, I want to show you how easy it can be to set up a sequential fatigue study using Alter Sim Solid. Now in this video, I'm going to show you linear structural loads being applied, but with 2023, you can do sequential loading with nonlinear uh, geometry as well. So I've got a single part here and I'm doing that just mainly so I can show you the setup a little bit easier. Now with SimSolid, we typically see it with larger assemblies, and that's mainly because you can get to simulation results in minutes rather than hours. Okay, so looking at our study, you can see on this part, I have a few structural studies already set up, and I've already run the results as well. And the first load, you can kind of see, is just to stretch this part apart. It's almost like a wishbone, and you can see the animation as well. You can see on this second study, I have constraints in the lower cylinders and the part is actually being pushed back by the load. Then in the third study, you can see it's squeezing the parts in rather than pushing those ends apart. Then this last load is constraining those lower cylinders again, but it's actually pushing the load towards me. So to start the fatigue study, if you come up to the ribbon and look for the icon that has a bent shape with a little S above it, it'll give you the options for the type of uh, fatigue study you wanna perform. And you can see once I click on that, it populates in the project tree over here on the left. Okay, to create a sequence, you can either import a CSV file to automatically create the sequence for you, or you can manually create one. I'm gonna manually create one here. And you can see if I come up to these two icons, the one that has the arrows pointing up and down, that's what I'm gonna click for manual. Then in the pop-up, I'm gonna hit add row for my four different studies. So I'm gonna create four rows then quickly adjust the load scales and the cycles. Now, the next thing I wanna do is make sure I have a stress life curve dedicated to the material on this. I'm gonna come up to settings at the top and I'm gonna click material database. Now, my part is made out of steel, so I'm gonna make a copy of that material and then hit edit that material. Now, under the fatigue properties, I'm gonna find the curve definition method and then the drop down, just make sure it's set to estimate from UTS and then hit apply. Then I'll come over to my solution settings for my sequence. I'll find the materials tab and I'll designate the copied material for my fatigue study. And now I can hit run study. And I wanna show you in real time. So as soon as I hit these double arrows, then it solves so quickly and it's ready. So for the visualizations, I can choose between the damage or the percent of damage. Then I can also look at the fatigue life or the repeated loads. Then I can also use this pick info icon that I can actually just choose a point on the part and try and get more detailed information that way. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. And if you have any questions or want to talk about it further, go to trueinsight.io. Thanks.